There is no better way to start my birthday than being with everyone. Oh, and Audric is back. Hi. I don't know if you all remember Audric. You've been here. Well, two years a couple. ago. Yes, couple. And we're we'll also ball at that's it. The ball at Versailles. And Philip's birthday. It's good to see you again. Here. Excellent. I'm starting my birthday breakfast with a pain au chocolat. We'll have a pain au chocolat because mummy's got the other half. Oh, she gave me half of her pain. Give half five. Well, there'll be about 20 coming from the breakfast table in a minute, <laughs> so I think it'll be okay. Natty, you look gorgeous. Did you dress like that specially for my birthday? Oh, look at that. And Galahad has just had a delicious breakfast. Haven't you, my darling? Yes. Well, shall we take that lead off you? Or no, let's go outside. Okay, we are off. We're off to have a birthday pee. Yay! I didn't know there was an option. You can come as well if you want. <laughs> It is not a nice day. He's, he's more like Lancelot than we thought. What's the first? Oh my God. What's going on? No, it's fine. There are friends. No, darling, we've never heard this before. And he's never seen the peacocks before. Darling, they're our friends. They absolutely don't care. <laughs> they just don't care. This is the right start to the day. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Thanks, Natty. Happy birthday. Cheers. Cheers to Sir Galahad. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. What are they doing? Happy birthday to you, Stephanie. He doesn't love the singing. Happy birthday to you. And what's not to love about that? Welcome to Sir Galahad. The big G. Welcome the to the family tree. of the land. Yes, yeah. yeah, they've all gone mad, darling, I know. Oh, yeah. It is time for a birthday transformation here at La Land, and Annalise is here to do my hair. I think the big transformations are going to have to be before next year's birthday, because next year I will finally be 50. Yes, once again, and for several years in a row, I have not been 50, and I'm still not 50. I think that Dan saying I was 50 many years ago was the greatest gift he could ever have given to me because I've started to believe it and every birthday since I've been, oh, I'm younger than I thought. Happy birthday! <laughs> oh, yeah, you've got a rapt audience. I think you might have scared her. <laughs> Happy birthday! <laughs> Is there a better sight in the morning? I don't think so. Thank you, Annalise. I feel fabulous. Yeah. My whole 49th year is going to be fabulous now because of you. Um, have you dognapped a certain someone? I don't know if... Would you notice if he left? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. He, he, so he suits wonderful. you. Isn't he marvellous? He looks so comfortable He's and so settled snuggly. with you. I love him already. <laughs> You look very beautiful. Thank you, Adelise. Done my hair. And this is a vintage Soliero outfit that I found on Vinted. Well, I love it. It's a bit big, so I put um, safety pins. But yes, you can get it. You can get it. Nice. All right. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Thank you. Hooray. Thank you for the beige feast. <laughs> beige food is my favourite food. <laughs> beige beige feast. Thank you, thank you. Before we sit down, Philip, you've got to see this. This is my gift from Ron. You're going to lose your mind. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, it is the most beautiful Mignardise set. Yeah. Yeah. Mignardise set. To be fair, I only know the name of it because of you, because you've <laughs> shown me some in the past. And it's for little sweet meats. Yeah, it's all and canapes. That's and... what we're eating now. So we need oh, to okay. use it. Oh, and turn each one around. You'll see at the back, there's a little mask. That's called a mascaron, little face behind every single piece of cutlery. Oh, they're beautiful. They are stunning. So we've got cucumber sandwiches and cheese and pickle, oh, ham, smoked salmon, like Marie's tea. muffins. <laughs> Where are all of these from? I, I make them. <laughs> <laughs> that's just something that went for I believe morning. many things about you, Mummy, but that's not one of them. <laughs> but you made me. <laughs> Okay, I'm something. gonna grab what a sausage roll. That's a beef one. What is right. mm. Pinwheels. And may I say, Philip, a very beautiful spread. Mm -hmm. 
this is the one that we used to use in our room, but only for a couple of us. I didn't know there yeah. was so much of it. I added to it over these. I can see that. <laughs> Sandwiches and the Mignardi set to pick it up. Oh, well, that's exactly what I wanted. Cucumber. Marvellous. This is the life. And to all of you, and thank you for being here and for making this such a Stephanie, perfect happy day. Birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. Many, many more. Seriously, the Sepoy's got nothing on us. I haven't even seen the little mini quiches. I shall be 49 again next year, I've decided. <laughs> Galahad is meeting Jack and Thomas for the first time. This is a big moment for Galahad. He's very interested in you. Very Jack. interested. Are you trying to get him into tartan, Jerry? Is it why the hat's <laughs> I'm getting used to me. <laughs> He really likes you. This is the muffin that Annalise and I were tasting while she was doing my hair. But it was just little bits of it. And now there's the whole muffin. Percy, you're sharing with me, aren't you? And look, how would we have done this without this set? Absolutely. Impossible, Rob. Absolutely impossible. We were living like savages. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> yep, that, that beautiful. She's Stephanie with new silver. Plates. No. <laughs> <laughs> you did this, Mummy. Mummy got me a special pièce montée, which is a traditional French cake. Yay! Yay! Thank you. Yay! I'll just make the wish. There we go. <laughs> You're doing a great job for that. Am I? Yeah, yeah, you are, you are. Pick them up in, what, six to 18 years? <laughs> <laughs> Galahad has totally fallen in love with Jack. I have never seen him be this comfortable with someone so quickly, Jack. Every time you walk away, he tries to look for you and call you back. He's so happy. He's loved. Jack! Oh, no. Jack! Yeah, that's what I heard. Jack! <laughs> Jack, don't jump! <laughs> that was the best lunch, and I spent the afternoon just relaxing and reading my books. I've got some really great books. Alan Bennett, The Uncommon Reader. Another one about Nancy Lancaster and one about Sister Parish, the interior designer. This is the one I've started with and I'm already underlining lots of things. I'm loving this book so much, but there's a couple of other gifts that I wanted to show you. The first is from Michael T. And the reason I'm showing this to you all is that so many of you were following Caddo at the Chateau when we did it and were always excited about Michael T's presents. And he sent me one for my birthday. And it's so incredibly beautiful and incredibly thoughtful. You like it very much, don't you, Galahad? It's, it's so beautiful. It's pink coral, which is the same as the engagement ring that Philip got for me, the engagement cocktail ring. So I'm going to put it on with the cocktail ring. I haven't tried it on yet. I was waiting to show you all. I'm just amazed because every time I wear this, I think, OK, what, what earrings should yeah. I wear? And Michael sent these beautiful earrings, apparently from the 1940s. It looks beautiful, Steph. I absolutely love it. And Philip tells me that the earrings are beautiful. I haven't actually seen them in the mirror yet. But look, that's the ring. That's the ring that Philip bought for me. So you've got what? demi parure. Parure is the word for a jewellery set yes. in French. And you can have the full set or the demi set. set. Yeah. The half set. I don't know if full parure also has a, a bracelet. And a a bracelet? A, I think so. Oh, I'm just so excited. So thank you very much, Michael. And there's another gift I have to show you all. Because this year I was thinking... I might do some sort of birthday, New Year's resolution-y type thing, which I never generally do. But I thought because next birthday is 50, are you listening to this, Dan? Next birthday, still not this birthday. I feel that I've got a lot of renovating to do. And I don't mean of the chateau. That's been going on for years. I mean of this. If I want to <laughs> hit 50 feeling good about this new decade ahead of me and wanting to really hit the ground running and feeling glamorous and in control of my life, I need to start now. So with my desire for renovation in mind, Amory gave me a gift voucher for toned arms. My instructor will be Amory in the gym at Lalande because, oh yes, we have a gym at Lalande. And the reason you don't know that is that I've never gone in there, so I've never <laughs> filmed it. So you'll be discovering it with me apparently tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock, and it is valid until, this is the best bit, 
Valid until your worst enemy wins. The pain is merely in your mind. The achievement is eternal. Oh my goodness. So if you want to join me for a toned arm session with Amory, it's going in to be... In the old chicken coop. <laughs> in the old chicken coop. It's going to be tomorrow <laughs> at 11. Well, tomorrow night's video. I'm both anxious and excited. Oh, because... but you have to be careful though, because you just shown it on the vlog. I feel like <gasps> people would voucher. screenshot that and then try and, you know, be so many turn it into... We'll have a queue. That's what I mean. Chicken They're like, shed. see? No, I've got it. <laughs> He's going to work on the bingo wings. Which bingo wings? I realise, Philip keeps saying, why haven't you worn this dress or that dress in a while? And it's always the dresses that just have a little tiny spaghetti strap. But your arms are beautiful. And I just kept saying, oh, I didn't, I, I, I genuinely didn't know, but I've realised now I wasn't picking them up because it's just a little... There's nothing bit there. there. now. D I, toned arms. Toned arms, and I'm going to hit 50 with arms cut like a knife. <laughs> in spaghetti straps <laughs> so tomorrow at 11 is that right 11 that's when the toning arm session starts can you promise that i'm gonna have arms that look like yours <laughs> yeah. i mean come on it's the same family i should be able to get the same muscles i don't give a i'm not doing i don't do weight weights it's calisthenics that i do what's calisthenics using your body weight as the uh okay well let's use my body weight and i'll have arms like yours I don't think Philip would want to get... Would you like my arms to be like that, darling? Look, I think it suits Emery. The <laughs> <laughs> suit tomorrow. <laughs> it's been the most wonderful day and I've got all dressed up for my birthday dinner with this weekend's guests. So I'm going to go through and rumour has it that there might be a cake after dinner. So Stephanie has a birthday weekend this weekend. <laughs> Obviously, she gets to choose what she wants. I chose this. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> so it's a prawn cocktail salad with the crevette, radish, uh, avocado, and misuna, which we grow ourselves in the garden. So it's quite an Asian-styled, kind of spiky salad, but it's actually quite nice and delicious. Bon appetit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thanks so much, Marie. The main cause is served. It's mm. a funny one because I didn't intend for it to be so autumnal, but <laughs> the meat oh. sort of led me into this okay. decision of uh, raising it and slow cooking it for about four hours. Mm. So wow. this is uh, mm. chuck beef steak and mm. then it's roasted in the oven. Mm. It's served with glazed carrots and beetroot from the garden and mm. then juice. It's good. I did see a drop of rain today, so I think I it's appropriate. Yeah. Yeah. I saw yeah. some leaves. <laughs> <laughs> well, everything, everything. Well, there we go. So we're having a very small dessert today because we have a little treat for you later. So save your uh, dessert belly. <laughs> and um, so what you have here is uh, charred apricot from the market mm. with blackberry granita from the garden, sweet lima spuma on the top here. Mm. Thank you. Happy birthday to you. Thank you, it's beautiful! <laughs> and it doesn't say 50! Oh. Shall we blow it out, darling? Oh, shall we blow it out? Is there too much going on, Amy? Beautiful. Well, I reckon we get one wish at least from them, yeah. don't you? Yeah. Well, that was a wonderful meal. But Galahad, I think, is enjoying the end of it even more. <laughs> the playing with Marie in the kitchen. Yeah. He's really starting to come out of his shell today. Oh, where's he gone? <laughs> <laughs>